What's up guys, David here, and welcome to the Fit Pro Daily. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget you can click that big red subscribe button below and subscribe and never miss an episode. Just like yesterday's episode where we had Alex Brown come on and share how to get started in a big box gym, how to thrive in a big box gym, and then also how to map your exit route to really learn and move and progress on your own terms. That was really, really interesting stuff listening to that. So if you're stuck in a big box gym, that's definitely an interview you will want to go and watch. Next to that, as you can see, we then have the Zoom trainings. If you're using Zoom to do your online workouts, then these trainings are gonna be perfect for you. Not only are they including how to make your audio better, so maybe you're working out, showing clients what to do, you can have some nice background audio music, but loads of other stuff like how to put background footage behind you so it doesn't look like you're sat at home, and loads of additional stuff. So definitely go and check out those videos too. Anyway, today I want to talk about four particular Facebook ad hacks you can do that are really going to boost the engagement and the leads that you're going to get from your Facebook ads. Let's dive straight into today's video. Okay, so let's dive into these four Facebook ad hacks. Some of them are gonna seem super simple and some of them are gonna be like a, a light bulb going off, like why didn't I even think about that before? So let's dive straight into that first one. Okay, ad hack number one. We all know that we can't use before and after pictures in the images or videos that you're producing for your ads. You can't even put before and after pictures on your landing pages that you're sending people to from Facebook. But there is one place where you can put your before and after pictures and that is in the comments of the ads. So my suggestion in this situation is you put those ads up, you get them approved and then they're live. Then in the comments, you add maybe three, four, maybe even five before and after pictures with maybe a story to each one. So when people are having a look through the ad, they're scrolling, they've seen this ad on Facebook, they see wow this ad's actually got five comments good for social proof they go and check out the comments they see that you've posted all these before and after pictures it's a much more compelling reason for them want to actually click on the advert then and request more information okay ad hack number two and this is also about social proof but something a lot of us forget to do when people comment on your ad whether they're asking how much is it or can you send me more information all that type of stuff we just message them straight away but what we're forgetting to do is think about social proof remember when we were talking about that first ad hack when people were scrolling through and they see your ad with a number of comments we want that ad to have as many comments as possible for the simple reason being when somebody's scrolling through facebook and they see an ad and the ad's got let's say 40, 50, 60, 70 comments, they're gonna be interested. Wow, why is this post getting so many different comments? So, somebody asks for the price, you first like their comments, you then write beneath that comment, hi, name, I'll message you privately now with more information. You then message them the more information, but that comment has given that post an extra comment there, their one comment, yours is a second comment, and you've given it a like. There's a good chance then that they will like your comments, that's two likes and two comments, and they will see your message that you've sent them to. So make sure when people comment on your Facebook ads, you reply to that comment and you like it. And then if they engage and all that stuff, make sure you reply back to the comments. Remember, we want as much social proof on your adverts as possible. So ad hack number two, reply to all comments in the comments. Okay, ad hack number three. And this again is all about social proof. Social proof is massive, okay? It makes such a big difference. You've got your ad going live now, and you might have a couple of your clients in it. Can you jump into the image and tag all the clients that are in it? Okay, yeah, you might have to ask your clients permission and make sure they're happy with being tagged in the videos or images that you're taking. But if you can jump in those images and tag all your clients in them, that's gonna massively increase the social proof because someone's scrolling through Facebook, they see your ad and it will say, uh, let's say my business, DK9 Fitness is with name and five others. Massive difference, okay? Name with five others, 50 odd comments, loads of likes. They're gonna think, wow, this must be quite an interesting ad to look at. So number three is all about trying to tag your clients in the pictures to increase the social proof. 
Okay, the fourth and final ad hack, and again, this is another social proof one. But instead of creating the ad in Ads Manager, if you've got a successful ad that you've run before, I want you to actually post this on your page first. For the simple reason, when you create a Facebook ad, you can't share that ad with a client and get them to comment because it just won't show on their thing. It will literally come up as ad error or there's an issue. It just doesn't work. And the only way to get this to happen is by actually creating the ad on the page, then going into Ads Manager and loading up that post as the advert. Because what I want you to do in this hack number four is get your clients to either share it or comment on it. Again, social proof. You're replying to all the comments. Maybe you've tagged your clients in the pictures. But if your clients are actually commenting on this post as well, yes, I love coming to DK9 Fitness. The staff are really helpful. I've got such amazing results. When people are jumping on, they're seeing all these comments, and it's not just you commenting, showing before and after pictures, it's your clients, and they've say you've got five or six clients posting different stuff on there, then it's gonna massively improve the reach and the awareness and just the whole quality of that advert. Because people are seeing it, they're seeing all these comments, and then they're going to it and they're seeing all these real life people commenting, posting stuff. They might even be mutual friends. So they might see the ad, they might not even click on the ad, they might reach out to your client and say, oh, I'd love to know more. Do you go to this place? How do you find it? And that is going to start that conversation with them. Then they can bring them in as a referral. And we all know referrals are much, much better than chasing cold leads. And it's a great way to really boost your ads. So they were the four Facebook ad hacks. And as you can see, as from all of them that we talked about, it's all about social proof, okay? The more social proof we can have in the ads, the better they're going to be. So definitely go back, watch all four of them again, write some notes and try implementing them on your next couple of ads and really see the difference that this does to the reach and to the, the amount of leads that come in from the adverts. Again, if you're new to the channel, don't forget you, sub sub uh, you can't subscribe by clicking that red button below. Also, don't forget to check out yesterday's interview where we had Alex talking about how to really thrive and move out of a big box gym. Tomorrow, we've got some brand new YouTube trainings coming your way, and they're all going to be based on Canva. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you all soon. Cheers.